Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this. It's always exciting getting a new drone, but once you have it and you're ready to fly, the pre-flight nerves kick in. All too often, new owners are hesitant about taking off, or they get carried away during their first flight and it all goes pear-shaped. But not to worry, we've helped hundreds of pilots have a successful first flight, so this video is here to help. Now there are three common mistakes that you need to avoid. And the first is on takeoff. Drone owners tend to be quite hesitant when they fly their drone for the first time. More often than not, they've spent a good amount of money investing in a drone, so they're, they're nervous about taking it off. The problem with being nervous is when you take off, you're too cautious on giving that first bit of power. So you get your prop spinning, you get it a little bit in the air. You don't want to move too far away from the ground because you're nervous. What can happen then is once you get in the air, your drone is then going to level itself in the wind. If your drone then catches in the ground, that propeller spinning, you're then going to tip over and you're going to just smash your propellers. So when you first take off, what you want to do, get your props spinning, get everything good to go, then give it a good boost of power, get your drone in the air, get it to 10 feet, it can then level itself, do its thing, and you can just hover there, and then you can move on to the next step. So just to reiterate, the worst thing you can do is just slowly and gently increase the power and take off. If you do that, if you catch a bit of wind, the drone is going to counteract the wind, it's going to dig into the ground and you're going to tip over and smash your props. Give it a boost of acceleration and you're going to get clear from the ground, you're going to get in the air, it can then hover and you're free to do whatever you want with it. The next mistake to be aware of is getting too carried away once you're in the air. So we've taken off, we're in the air, we're now hovering. We then start to get a bit adventurous with flying our drone around. We're not used to the controls, we're not used to what the drone's capable of yet. So we get too adventurous, we get too close to a tree, and we've lost it in a tree. The other thing that you might find is you might spin your drone on the yaw. If you do that, your controls are then gonna act differently to what you're expecting when it's facing away from you. If you do that, you're gonna lose your orientation and you're gonna stick left or right, and it's gonna go the opposite direction to what you're expecting. This is usually the number one mistake that causes new pilots to have an accident on their first flight. So to help you avoid this happening to you, what we recommend is that you get your drone 10 feet in the air, hover it, and then do a simple control check. What you wanna do is just get used to pushing the drone around the sky, back and forward, left and right. Keep it always facing away from you because that's the easiest way. It's when you stick right, you move right. If you stick left, you move left and so on. Once you've done this, you're gonna get used to controlling your drone. You're gonna get used to its capability. So when you do this, we recommend that you do this multiple times. Really get used to moving it back and forward, left to right. Just get confident with the controls before you get too adventurous. Once you know what the aircraft is capable of, how it reacts, how it flies, you can then start to venture a bit further away. It may be a bit boring, we all wanna you know, go flying off capturing shots, but if you're new to it, spending that bit of time just getting used to your drone will pay dividends once you start venturing further away. And now on to the final mistake that you need to avoid on your first flight, and that's when you come in to land. The mistake in most scenarios is bringing your drone in too fast and landing it too heavily. New pilots are nervous about bringing it in and landing for the first time. They bring it in, hover in place, and then they just power down, bring the drone in too fast, and it just hits the ground. The other thing to be aware of is bringing it in too slowly. It's exactly the same as when we're taking off. If we bring it in too slowly, and we're hovering just above the ground, our drone catches a bit of wind, we might dig in, and we're gonna flip over again. We don't want that happening. So when you're landing, what you wanna do, get your drone at 10 feet, hover in the air. Slowly bring it down to about six feet. Make sure the area underneath your drone is clear and you're safe to land. Then in a nice steady motion, simply bring it down, land it on the ground and then power down your motors. The best thing to do to practice your taking off and landings is to do exactly that. Take off, land, take off and land. Do it 10, 15, 20 times. Get really good at it, get confident at it. Once you've done that, if a big gust of wind blows whilst you're landing or taking off, you're used to the controls, you know how to take off, you know how to get it back on the ground, and it will really, really help you. So just to summarize, when you're taking off, 
get your prop spinning and give it a good amount of power. Get to 10 feet in the air and then hover. Once you're in the air and hovering, get used to pushing forwards and backwards, left and right. Get used to how your drone reacts to your stick movements. And finally on landing, bring your drone back in, hover it around 10 feet, check underneath it, get down to about six feet, Again, check everything's clear, and then smoothly bring your drone in in one controlled movement and stop your props. We recommend that you repeat this process multiple times before you start venturing further afield. By carrying out this practice, it's gonna ensure that you have a good, successful first flight. One final tip for you, and you should carry this out on every single flight. Take off, get to 10 feet in the air and hover. Then do a simple control check. Move your drone forwards and backwards, left and right, change the yaw, change the altitude. Just make sure that your drone is responding to your stick movements exactly as you expect. If you have any problems, you can then bring it down and land, check out the drone. If it's all good, you can then carry on flying. This just means that you don't take off, fly into the distance and then realize your drone isn't responding as it should be. I really hope that you find these tips useful, but if you have any questions or comments, then leave them below.